down here. What's up, geniuses? My name is Adrian hey, Rivera. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Yes, you've read the title right. We're gonna be simping hard today. Now I know what you're thinking, but NF's not a simp. He goes hard. And yes, that's very true. Let me get out of here. NF is one of the hardest rappers I listen to. He's got bangers like grinding, leave me alone, no, but also some bops that hit you in the feels. We all almost cried when we were listening to How Could You Leave Us? <laughs> but let me tell you, when this man needs to simp, he can simp. Now I know a thing or two about simping. I've been simping since fifth grade. You may even call me a master simp. I even called my island in Animal Crossing Simpsonati. I mean, just look at my dad bod. Ain't nobody with dad bods go hard out here, my G. It might not seem like it, but NF has what it takes be a simp. Just listen to Got You On My Mind or Time. Maybe not Time. I was a little sad, but definitely Got You On My Mind. Just listen to these lyrics. I'll pull them up right here. You got me thinking things I never used to. I'm not the phone type. I'd rather be with you. Sometimes I hold back from saying I miss you, but I miss you. That's some simp energy right there. He's known as a rapper, but when he simps, he's on that Drake level of thinking. Girls don't find rap attractive. You gross. But sing to them, and they might just look in your direction. Trust me, I know everything about women. So, with all the knowledge that I have, I went ahead and made my own NF type simp song. This was back in November. But apparently, to some of you guys, it came across as a Post Malone type song. I don't even listen to him like that. I was going for NF. So have another listen and think NF. Trust me, you'll hear it. So let me break down how I got to making this NF type song. But before I do, I gotta tell you guys something. Welcome back to my wall. Let's see if I have a super play button yet. Nope, it's just Young Sinatra 4 by Logic. Do you think Logic is a better rapper than NF? Say yes or no in the comments. Let's start a fire. Even though I think this was a pretty good album, this is not what we want on our wall. What we need is a silver play button. And the only way to get a silver play button is if you have 100,000 subscribers. Do we have 100,000 subscribers yet? No. I currently have 7,893 subscribers. If you were my 7,893rd subscriber, thank you. So we need about 93,000 more subscribers to hit that silver play button. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get 100,000 by the end of the year. Okay? Okay. We don't want Logic to be here for two... That sounds a little weird. We don't want Logic's album to be here for too long. Welcome back to FL Studio, guys. So we're gonna just break down straight into this. First reason why this is an NF type song, but I should honestly really say first step. I'm still a little mad that people think that this is a Post Malone song. It's supposed to sound like NF. First reason that this is an NF type song is the, oh gosh, my voice cracked. It's the chord progression. Let's have a little listen to what the chord progression is right now. It's a very sad chord progression. As you can hear, it's that usual piano sound that NF usually uses in his songs. You got those deep bass octaves down here, then you got the chords up here, and it's just a really mellow sounding piano. So let's take a quick look at what these chords are really quick. We go to D, D major, F sharp minor, then we go to E, and then we go to C sharp minor, but first version. Then we go back down to D, then we go to F sharp minor, and then we go to E again, and then we go way back down to D. So it's been a while since I've done some music theory, but from what I know, in the key of D, this is a one chord, goes to a three chord, and goes to a two chord, then a seventh chord, which this is this seventh chord thing is the thing I'm a little like eh about. I'm pretty sure it's the seventh chord. It's just that this isn't diminished like a usual seventh chord should be in a D major scale. And then we go back down to one, 
goes to a three, then a two, and then we go to one again. This chord progression is basically reminiscent of like any NF song. So let me just give you an example. I'm gonna sing along to it. I don't sound like NF, but you'll understand what I'm saying. Watch me get copyright strike somehow. So the song Lie, I heard you've told your friends that I'm just not your type. If that's how you really feel, then why'd you call last night? You say all I ever do is just control your life. But how you gonna lie? Like, yeah, so you get the idea. And then you got How Could You Leave Us? How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? How could you leave us here? How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? You get me. Is there anything else I can think of? There's a couple other ones, but I can't remember them at the top of my head. But you get the gist. Second reason why this is an NF song. Screw saying steps, I'm saying reasons. This is an NF song, 100%. No Post Malone. Second reason is the vocal chops. Let me turn off that metronome. I wouldn't say NF uses a lot of vocal chops, but vocals are a big thing in the background of a lot of his music. He almost uses it like an extra instrument in his songs. If you listen to some songs like like this is one of them. I think Got You On My Mind is even another one. You can hear in the background of those songs is that there's a lot of vocals. I wouldn't say a lot of vocals, but there's vocals present and they're really atmospheric. And that's just something that's very present in his music and I thought it would be good to add it in. So I found this vocal chop on Splice. I didn't make it myself. But I do have a video about vocal chops, so if you want to see that video, click the eye icon up here. It's a really simple video, but anyway, I found this vocal chop on Splice. I downloaded it, and then I pitched it to match the key of my song, and you can really hear that when I turn off the effects for this. That little click right there is like where I edited the vocal. So to make it sound more atmospheric, what I did was I added a reverb. This vocal sample already had reverb, but the more reverb, the merrier. Another reason why I put a little bit of reverb is because it kind of ends abruptly over here. So adding some reverb kind of allows it to tail off a little more. And then I put an EQ, cut off some highs, cut off some lows. We get that more muted sound. And overall, sounds very atmospheric. So that brings me to my next reason Reason number three, atmosphere. There is a lot of atmosphere in NF songs. So in order to add some more atmospheric sounds, I put in a Mellotron. Playing the chords that we were talking about earlier. And with this Mellotron, put some reverb. Can never go wrong. Just kidding, you can't go wrong. Don't overdo reverb. Put some reverb. Add in an EQ what it sounds like without it, what it sounds like with it, atmosphere. I also added this little arpeggio of this music box that pans automatically because messing around with the stereo does give you a little more sense of atmosphere and space. I'm sure you see the trend got reverb up in here atmosphere and then i also added a re-space nf uses this in like one other song that i know of i'm sure he probably uses it a lot more i just know for sure it's in one song what the song is i can't remember off the top of my head but i promise it's there anyway let's have a listen so one thing you'll probably notice about re-spaces is that they're a lot more stereo separated than most 808s would be. Like I said previously, stereo separation adds a little more sense of space. Having this Reese bass really adds more atmosphere instead of just having a regular 808 bass line. And right here too, you can see I added a little scoop so it slides up from one note to the other. Pretty cool. Shout out to Conrad for introducing me to Reese basses. It's pretty cool. Make sure you check out Conrad's song, Call You Up. I love that song. Reason number four, drum loop. Let's have a quick listen to the drums, shall we? Mm. 
Now again, I found these drums on Splice. And recently, I've been using more and more loops that I found on Splice, specifically drum loops. I used to be so against using drum loops or any sort of loops, but now I'm kind of like, eh. It kind of makes it easier sometimes if I'm being honest. Let me just put it for you this way. I don't think I would have ever came up with this little drum vibe on my own. I know I could probably could have come up with something like pretty decent, like, you know, it would be kind of cool, but this specific vibe that like I had in my head that I found with this drum loop when I was looking on Splice, I probably would've never like thought of it. So finding a drum loop on Splice, adding it to your song, it's like the same thing with collaboration. If you're collaborating with another artist, there's like ideas that you have, but like they can do it better than you can. And sometimes they bring new ideas to the table that you would've never thought of. So you end up making a really good song and you couldn't have done it without the help of someone else. So think of using loops as a collaboration between you and the person that made the loop. I don't recommend using loops for everything. You should definitely have your own customized additions to your song. But a couple loops here and there doesn't hurt anybody. As long as you have the rights, don't use anything that's copyrighted. Avoid getting sued. Anyway. Here we are with these drums. NF's got some similar vibes with his drums, at least I think so. He uses those standard, you know, trap drums that you hear in all pop music now. Drums are drums. Pretty cool. I think NF would approve. Fifth reason that this is an NF song and not a Post Malone song is pitch shifting. Let me go find where it pitch shifted. So NF pitch shifts a lot of his vocals, specifically in his choruses. How do we make this song feel more like an NF song? Pitch shifting. So literally all I did was took my vocal, ploop de looped it into Edison. So then when you put it into Edison, all you gotta do is click this gear icon. That's a wrench, it's not a gear. Click time stretch slash pitch shift and nothing pops up because I don't have any vocal in here. But what would pop up is this little interface for you to adjust the pitch of your vocal. So this is what I came up with. Let's have a listen. As you can hear, there's a lot of delay, good amount of reverb, atmosphere. With the rest of the song, it sounds pretty dope. Reason number six, strings. NF is really cinematic when it comes to making music. He uses literal orchestras when he's making his music. It sounds super dope, it's really amazing, and definitely that organic sound adds a lot to his music. I don't have an orchestra or the budget to afford one. People like us go with fake string sounds. Now this isn't really like strings, this is more of an orchestron. In retrospect, could I have used better strings? Probably, but everything worked out in the end, and together, it sounds pretty good. So after we have all the elements of the song, how are we gonna structure it? I opened with some atmosphere and vocals. Obviously, this song is all about simping. It's a love song about long distance relationships. So we dive straight into it by starting off with the vocals. We don't waste no time to simp up in here. After that little intro, we break into the verse, which is divided by basically just the drum loop. Now to transition into the pre-chorus, what I did was I added a little bass. The re bass is what we're talking about. So when that comes in, it brings in a little more intensity to the pre-chorus, letting you know that something is coming, that being the chorus. 
Then we come into the chorus, we bring in that little arpeggio that I did with the music box, adds more atmosphere, and then we bring in that lovely pitch shifted vocal. Take that Post Malone. In the second half of the chorus, we go into a little breakdown with just the piano, no drums, no atmosphere, except for the vocals and the vocal chops. It's a very NF move right there. As you heard a little bit, we transition into the second verse with a little drum loop breakdown right here. And then we continue on with the piano, the Reese bass. We have no more of that atmosphere. It's literally just the piano, the Reese, and my vocals. So then after that, we go back into the pre-chorus, but this time we continue with the piano, add back the atmosphere, but then we put in an 808 for that extra low end sub bass that we didn't have before. So we'll solo the 808 right here. Very deep. I also just wanna point out this little woo right here. That's how you know you make good 808s. But another thing we add is the strings. So the strings just add to the build up, put it all together. It's one of the more emotional parts of the song. After that, we get back into the chorus, continuing with the strings, the Reese bass, and the 808, but dropping down the piano so that we can transition smoothly back into the piano when the breakdown happens. And then we get into that breakdown. Ooh, you see that? Right there. The breakdown continues, but we add in an 808 to really add some sub to it and emphasize that this is the end of the song. We bring back the strings. We got some nice little vocals. So beautiful. And you might have noticed that I actually started singing regularly with the pitch shifted vocals during this chorus. NF does that sometimes too. I took note of that and put it in the song. Post Malone who? And then we just end off the song with some piano, some vocal chops, and of course, my producer tag. If you guys wanna listen to my NF type song, not Post Malone, please feel free to click the eye icon up here. It's currently doing pretty well on my Spotify. Here, take a look at that. Ooh, Spotify. Why don't you close? 5,904 streams. Pretty good. Duct tape is up there with 7,000. Anyway, feel free to check out the song. I appreciate all the love that I've gotten on it so far. It came out in November, so it's been a while. You guys have had some time to love it, so I really appreciate that. It means a lot to a man. Before I end this video, I gotta mention my beat store, adriorivera.com. Feel free to check it out. I got some super high quality beats up there. You heard what I can do with this song. I'm going to continue to post more beats very, very soon. So don't expect any throwaways up there. Also, if you wanna get your music onto Spotify and iTunes, like I just showed you that mine was right there. I use a distributor called DistroKid. This video is not sponsored by them. I've been sponsored before, but the reason why I'm mentioning them is because from the bottom of my heart, I really think that they're the best distributor. Plus I have a little referral link for you. So I get a little kickback every time somebody signs up and you get 7% off 
So it's a win-win situation for the both of us. DistroKid is 20 bucks a year and 7% off of that is like what, 1875, something like that. So you're getting good deals up in here. Also make sure to subscribe. That wall needs to be filled with the silver play button. It's a necessity, an essential item if you will. So please help a man out. I really appreciate you guys watching. Stay safe out there, but most importantly, don't be afraid to show your genius.